Murphy from Utah Valley University. And I'm going to be sharing a study that my co-author John Westover and I did on job satisfaction in the public and private sector. So this study involved data from the International Social Survey Program, which um, encompassed 37 countries. And we looked at uh, four different areas, work-life balance, intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, and work relations to examine the job satisfaction for those in the private sector and those in the public sector. So just um, briefly, definitions, public sector is government entities um, are those that offer public services. Private sector is for-profit businesses. So the model based on the data, um, the International Social Survey data, we had control variables that encompassed individual and family characteristics and then organizational and job characteristics. And you can see those listed on the slides. And then the questions we focused on were related to job satisfaction. And as I mentioned, those fall, fell into four categories. And there were questions related to each of those aspects of job satisfaction. So work-life balance, working weekends, having schedule flexibility, um, whether or not your work interferes with your family, intrinsic rewards are things like job autonomy, helping others, having a job that's interesting to society. Extrinsic rewards are more like pay and benefits and promotion opportunities. And then work relations is basically um, your coworkers and your relations with management and so forth. So those are the variables. Um, we had five hypotheses and these are based on the literature. So the first hypothesis is that work-life balance characteristics would have more predictability in job satisfaction for public sector workers. Um, and extrinsic characteristics would have more predictability also for public sector workers. Oh, sorry, I got that wrong. Sorry, for private workers. Um, typically in the literature, it talks about um, public, sorry, private sector workers tend to be more focused on pay. This is kind of a stereotype and public sector workers more on being useful, job useful to society, and that kind of thing. Okay, uh, hypothesis three. Um, I kind of just mentioned that, but intrinsic characteristics would be more predictable, have more predictability for public workers. So things like autonomy, um, the purpose of the job, uh, having a useful job, and so forth. And then work relations, uh, we predicted that they would be more salient for public sector workers. And then uh, hypothesis five, that there would be significant differences across the sectors um, for the 37 countries in the studies. All right, so here you can just briefly see, these are the means for each country, the mean job satisfaction score um, you'll see the bar across the top is the average, and then you can see the countries that were above the mean and below the mean. So just to summarize briefly, Venezuela, Switzerland, Austria, and Mexico had the highest satisfaction levels, and we really didn't speculate in the study why those countries that seem quite different would be high or highest. Um, the average mean, um, the worldwide mean was 5.3. And then the lowest countries, um, Poland, China, and Japan, um, once again, those seem like fairly different countries, um, although China and Japan have, have some uh, similarities, but Poland kind of stands out a little bit differently there. So the study didn't get into the, the reasons for those, but we are reporting them. 
And then um, we looked at all the different variables for public, private, and all organizations. And just briefly, uh, the findings, um, public sector workers overall in the means were more satisfied than private sector workers. Um, public sector workers were significantly higher in interesting work, helping others, job useful to society, and job security. So once again, that's a mix of intrinsic, the first three are intrinsic, and the last one is extrinsic. Once again, these are just the means. And then um, contact with others, which is a, a worker relations factor, working weekends, flexibility to deal with family matters. Those two are work-life balance factors. Those were higher for public sector workers. And physical effort was the only one that was actually higher for the private sector workers. So that's the job required physical effort. Uh, then we looked at um, some different statistics and you can see here that there was quite a variation um, when we ran the, the statistics. And here as well, the regression results, and I will highlight those. So first of all, um, we see that <clears throat> extrinsic work-life balance and control variables were fairly consistent for both sectors, um, but intrinsic and work relations variables were different. So helping others, um, was significant for public sector workers, <clears throat> autonomy for private sector workers, job meaningful to society for private workers, being harassed at work for public, <clears throat> discriminated against at work for private. So there are some unexpected results there um, based on previous research, based on the literature. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I will talk about those in a minute. Um, also, we find that the public private sector control variable was significant. Um, <clears throat> when we looked at <clears throat> country specific models, um, that sector control variable was significant in five of the 37 countries. So the overall model, which I shared earlier, versus country-specific models. All right, so back to the hypotheses. H1 um, is not strongly supported. So we said that um, work-life balance would be more, have more predictability and job satisfaction for public sector workers. But what we found was that um, working weekends, flexibility to deal with family matters were significant for public sector, but not private sector. So there was some support, <coughs> but not extensive support. Um, H2 was about the extrinsic characteristics, having more predictability for private workers. Um, <coughs> we found no differences in those factors between the two sectors. Uh, the third hypothesis related to intrinsic characteristics, we predicted <coughs> um, that that would be more salient for public sector workers. And we did find that helping others, job useful um, was significant for public. Job useful to society and job autonomy, though, were predictable for private sector. So there were some differences there. Um, hypothesis four, the work relations. Um, we, we hypothesize that predictability um, in job satisfaction levels would be um, towards public sector workers. And we found some minor, um, minor variations. So being harassed at work was, a, of course, a negative factor and more significant for public sector. And being discriminated at work was more significant for private sector workers. 
And last, um, H5 was supported simply that there were statistically significant differences across the countries in the study um, for private and public sector employees. All right, so let's look at what all of this means and um, if we can come up with some practical uh, applications for it. So basically there were more differences than similarities across the two se sectors, but more satisfaction for public workers. Um, so in the research, um, previous research, there's just been a lot of inconsistency in studies um, showing job satisfaction variables in the two sectors. And that was also true in this study. So it, it's very difficult to draw distinct lines um, in intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. You know, one is not necessarily associated more with a sector than another. And they both um, face challenges that can impact satisfaction. So a couple of theories that um, are relevant to the study. We have self-determination theory, which consists of three factors, autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Autonomy, um, that was higher in the, or that contributed more towards job satisfaction in the private sector. Relatedness, our work relations um, variables were, uh, were more mixed, and these were the negative factors. So public sector um, harassed at work was significant, private sector discriminated at work. Motivation 3.0 um, from Dan Pink is similar to self-determination theory. It focuses on autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Uh, the variables in the study uh, were associated with autonomy and purpose. So once again, autonomy, um, private sector had more job, uh, job autonomy contributed to satisfaction and purpose helping others was more salient in the public sector. Um, one more theory, Hertzberg's two-factor theory. So Hertzberg talks about motivation factors and hygiene factors. So motivation factors are typically intrinsic factors and they contribute to job satisfaction. Hygiene factors are largely extrinsic factors. They cause dissatisfaction if they're not present, but they don't contribute to motivation or job satisfaction. So let's see what we can learn about that theory from this study. So public sector workers um, having an interesting job, um, Hertzberg would say that was a dissatisfier. Um, helping others is was found to be a motivation factor. So in this study, those four factors listed there are four variables, job interesting, helping others, harassed at work, working weekends, those were all found to contribute to job satisfaction. But according to Hertzberg's theory, having a job, in, interesting job, being harassed at work and um, scheduling kinds of things would be considered to be dissatisfiers, but not to motivate. So there are some aspects of the theory that would not be supported um, by this study. Um, the private sector workers autonomy Yes, it was a job satisfaction contributor and being discriminated against was a dissatisfier. So there is a there's a partial fit with his theory. Um, the mean scores, um, once again, we find some variation. Um, so remember, they're significantly higher for the public sector employees. Uh, so we find uh, we definitely find support for self-determination theory and motivation 3.0. Uh, we've, as pointed out on the previous slide, <clears throat> there are some inconsistencies with Hertzberg's theory. So, um, so just um, to highlight, mean scores were significantly higher for public sector workers and contacting others, working weekends, so work-life balance areas, and so forth. 
So conclusions, um, the study was not set up to prove or disprove any of those three theories that I just reviewed. And there was not anything specifically in the survey or the data on mastery or competence, but we, those are key motivation or job satisfaction theories. So um, we're just pulling those in to see what we learned about those. And then there were, um, so there were inconsistencies where Hertzberg's theory did not apply. Um, we see a range of extrinsic and intrinsic factors and differences in global contexts. All right, thank you.